One day, a young boy called Jonathan rushed into the police station shouting, please arrest my dad. The officer were shocked, but little did they know about the heartbreaking story that will unfold in front of their eyes. But before we dive in in today's story, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and definitely smash the notifications button for more similar stories. It was an ordinary day in a small town when six-year-old Jonathan, who appeared so much younger than his age, burst into the local police station, struggling to hold back tears. He cried out, please officers, arrest my dad. At first, the officers thought it might be a prank, but the bot kept repeating his desperate plead. The officer on duty called Lily, a colleague who specialized in working with children, to better understand the situation. Lily approached Jonathan gently, trying to calm him down. The he reminded, visibly anxious and frustrated. The officers knew they couldn't take any action until they discovered more details about the incident. Lily, along with her colleague, Officer Liam, began asking Jonathan several questions, hoping to get more information and uncover the incident. However, Jonathan continued to hysterically cry and insisted on asking the officers to arrest his dad immediately. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Lily and Liam took Jonathan into a quiet office. They offered him milk and cookies, hoping to comfort him before asking more questions. Liam gently asked if Jonathan's father had hurt him in any form, and after brief silence, Jonathan nodded, tears streaming down his face once more. Lily tried to calm him down again and asked what his father was doing now and how Jonathan managed to leave the house. The little boy explained that he had waited until his dad fell asleep before running to the police station. When asked about his home address, Jonathan hesitated but then said they live in small yellow house near the old water tower. Liam immediately recognized the place. Lily asked about Jonathan's mother, which he sadly replied that he hadn't seen her for a long time. Jonathan added that according to his dad, she went for a walk one day, but she never came back. This statement made the police officers suspect that Jonathan's father had more secrets hidden and that something very dangerous happened to Jonathan's mother. Seeing that the adults were finally listening to him, Jonathan insisted that his father be arrested and not allowed to escape. Jonathan said his dad had been very aggressive lately and often slammed the refrigerator door saying he couldn't take it anymore. The officers decided they couldn't wait any longer and dispatched a team to the small yellow house near the water tower. Less than half an hour later, armed officers stormed the small yellow house near the water tower, which looked old and shabby inside. The house was, was poor but clean and tidy. Ryle was peacefully sleeping in his bed when the police knocked him to the floor and quickly handcuffed him. The man sighed loudly, clearly not understanding what was happening, while the officers pushed him into the back seat of their car. Finally coming to his senses, the suspect started yelling that he had a little son left at home, to which one of the police officers sharply replied that the child had been at the police station for a long time and now the arrested man would have to answer for, for all the crimes he had committed. Once at the police station, Liam was surprised. He had expected to see a violent psychopath who had brutally abused his wife and son, but instead saw a very thin and sickly man with sunken eyes as Ryle was brought inside the little boy. Jonathan jumped into his arms and hugged him tightly. The father, Ryle, cried as he whispered, son, I thought something happened to you. Jonathan responded, Dad, I told them to arrest you so you can finally eat. The police officers were shocked and confused, not understanding what was happening. It didn't take long for Liam to uncover the heartbreaking truth. Ryle had been raising his son alone after his wife died to avoid traumatizing Jonathan. He had told him that his mom went for a walk and never returned. Ryle had serious health problems and no formal education, so he could only get small, odd jobs, barely enough to feed and clothe his son. Ryle often went hungry, giving everything to his beloved son. One night, Jonathan saw his dad slam the almost empty fridge door in frustration and cry. Determined to help his struggling father, Jonathan remembered from a TV show that prisoners were fed three times a day. So he devised a plan and ran to the police station. When the heart-wrenching truth emerged, all the officers got moved to tears. They shared their lunches with Ryle and Jonathan, and one of the officers drove them home. The following day, several officers and social workers returned to Ryle's house with food supplies. Grateful, Ryle accepted their help and welcomed them inside, where Jonathan greeted them with an innocent smile. 
Officer Liam also offered Ryle a janitorial position at a restaurant nearby the police station, which Ryle accepted. The story of the little boy who had his father arrested quickly spread throughout the town and went viral on social media. It brought attention to those living in extreme poverty and inspired many residents to help those in need, making life a bit easier for others. Jonathan's innocent and heartfelt act brought kindness and compassion to the world, making it a better place. What do you think about Jonathan's plan to help his father? We would love to hear your thoughts on the comments. And if you like today's story, don't forget to share it with your fellows. And to enjoy more stories like this, don't forget to subscribe and smash the notification button so you don't miss any of our next stories.